Today we're going to look at the ballpoint splatline. In this guide, I'll cover how this weapon works, how to practice with it, and my favorite abilities and strategies. The ballpoint splatling is a splatling type weapon. This means that it must be charged up before firing, and only shoots once you release the trigger. Splatlings may take a bit longer to get fired up, but the mighty torrent of ink is worth the wait. For standard splatlings, once you release the weapon's charge, you have to wait until it's fully discharged before revving it up again. The ballpoint splatling completely breaks this rule. Unlike its parents, it can be charged and discharged at literally any time. This makes it especially easy to stay on the ready for unexpected enemies. As if that wasn't enough, the ballpoint also has two firing modes. The first is spray mode, which fires a crazy fast array of ink shots at close range. The second is snipe mode. This mode has much greater accuracy and range, but sacrifices fire rate and turf coverage. Upon releasing the trigger, the ballpoint will always start in spray mode, and after shooting for about half a second, the gun will switch to snipe mode. Spray mode is great for covering turf, jumping opponents, and moving quickly, while snipe mode is great for sniping enemies, applying pressure from afar, and catching opponents who try to escape you when your gun is in spray mode. Snipe mode does deal slightly more damage per shot, but it still takes 4 shots to splat an opponent who's at full health. We've covered all the basic abilities that this weapon has to offer, so it's time to talk about how to train with it. Because spray mode is so good at covering turf, it's worthwhile to practice staying in spray mode by charging and discharging at just the right tempo. When this rhythm becomes second nature, you'll be covering turf with maximum efficiency. The second exercise that I recommend is to practice staying in snipe mode while continuously popping targets. This is how you can compensate for the splatling's slightly slower damage per second output at long range. Now that we have a good idea of what the ballpoint splatling can do, let's explore its supported playstyles and find out what kind of players this weapon is best suited for. The ballpoint is strongest when it's used to play a defensive or supportive role. In high pressure situations, it's important to wait for your team so that you can cover their back. View the portion of the map that is covered in your team's ink as your territory. It is extremely helpful to keep your team's working space clean and to put an end to any interlopers who try to flank your friends. Once you have established a good amount of turf, it's your duty to defend it. It may be tempting to rush off into enemy turf, but this will almost certainly leave you with no time to react to assaultants and no way to escape. In addition, by abandoning your home turf, you leave your teammates open to flankers. The obvious exception to this rule is when you must push an objective, like riding the tower in tower control or scoring in clan blitz. Here are the abilities that I like to equip with the classic ballpoint kit. To reduce downtime, I have 19 points of ink refill up. My 10 points of ink saver sub and 9 points of ink saver main allow me to combine different attacks and maintain pressure for longer. To ensure that my inkjet will be ready when I need it, I have 10 points of special charge up and 9 points of special saver. I call this loadout the secret agent. The secret agent may appear to be just another player, but make no mistake, there is more to this squid kid than meets the eye. He uses the guise of a simple splatling operator to cover his true identity. If you are not careful, you may be done in by the first of this agent's secret weapons, the Toxic Mist. Don't be fooled, the agent is out there silently waiting and watching, ready to sabotage even your most well-laid plan. If you think you can corner the agent, then think again. Just when all appears lost for him, he deploys his inkjet, 
and takes to the sky, leaving you high and dry. Even when you think you are safe, the agent may fly in without warning and give you a personal demonstration of the inkjet's missile launcher. It is his extreme cunning and patience that makes the secret agent a deadly weapon. To have any chance of defeating him, your mental game must rival his. Remember, keep your eyes peeled, your ears sharp, and always expect the unexpected. Here are the abilities that I like to equip with the Ballpoint Noveo. My lightning fast squid beacons are made possible by the 38 points of sub power up that I have equipped. And the 19 points of ink refill up allow me to get back into the action quicker after placing those beacons and defending the objective. I call this loadout the Sergeant. The Sergeant is a bold tactician who leads his teammates by example. This steadfast soldier stands behind his comrades no matter what, always ready to cover their backs. The sergeant places beacons so that he and his fellow soldiers can maintain pressure on the front lines. He knows that his team stands when united, but divided they fall. When spirits are low, the sergeant leads the charge by calling in his ink storm. With new courage, they drive back the opposition and reclaim their turf. The sergeant takes pride in his fellows, encouraging them to take on each challenge with renewed vigor. As long as he is standing, there will be no squid left behind. These are my personal strategies, but I would love to know more about how you approach this weapon. Leave a comment and tell me what you think about the ballpoint splatling, or share your thoughts on anything that we discussed. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, then give it a like and consider subscribing and enabling notifications so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. If you haven't already, you can check out my inkjet guide. It goes well with this video since the classic ballpoint has inkjet as its special. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye!